So far, it has been a runaway. And guys, you know, Muhammad Bamba has really been making it happen. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. They owe the Kings after this game, and that game closes out the four-game homestand for them. And New York, looking at who they've got, Bradley Beal is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's Josh Hart. Then it's Robinson, and it's Durant in at the power forward position. Williamson kicks to Murphy. Tries again. Valanciunas passes to Williamson. Now Hart. He feeds it to B. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And that's 15 points for Beal. Well, Bradley Beal works so hard to find the opportunities on the offensive end. He knows he's responsible to carry the load. Ingram finds Valanciunas. Ingram up top. He's covered by Beal. Knicks trail by 15. With a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I like the mentality by Beal. Takes it inside, mixes it up a little bit. Nice. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And last season, 86% from the line so he's always had that calm presence at the line no matter the situation and the first one drops well Bradley Beal is the epitome of being a triple threat he can drive it pass it shoot it the complete package on the offensive end that defines Bradley Beal. And both free throws good for Beal. Now here's McCollum. The pass to Valanciunas. Hard against McCollum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on C.J. McCollum. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Really can't criticize the work he did at the line a year ago. 82% on the season. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. McCollum against Hart. Now here's Valen Junis. He's guarded closer. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Brunson kicks to Hart. And to get open is Robinson. Second shot opportunity. Hart, no good. Pelicans leading by 12. Here's McCollum. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. McCollum's got 13. And he's capable of turning it up on offense. When McCollum catches fire, this is a guy that can get uber aggressive. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. It's Ingram on the wing. Katie against Williamson. 
And Durant sends it back. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. Well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line for three free throws. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. This is his first trip to the line tonight. How about up over the 8% mark from the line last year? So he's happy and also consistent there with those numbers. Issa. One falls for Brunson. And New York making a change here. Brickley's checked in. And he sinks the second. Can't make it three for three. New Orleans leading by McCollum dishes to Murphy. Williamson up top, defended by Durant to the inside. And the basket by Murphy. Murphy's got 13. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Runs in the pass to Robinson. To Brunson. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Brunson's got six points in the quarter. Boy, how about the awareness from the big man? We think of Mr. Robinson as a shot blocker. What a pretty pass. Quickly against Ingram. Over in the corner, Williamson. Six on the shot clock. For Durant and it's Williamson missing you know the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him but that is a difficult shot to see the lead now cut just single digits 16 points for him and this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. shooting foul. And a crafty move by McCollum there, making sure he initiates the contact before letting the shot go. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. 
I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And the first one at the line is good. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. So McCollum nails both of them. Here's Brunson. He's got 16. Outside Robinson. He kicks it to Durant. New York moving the ball around. To the middle. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists now tonight. New Orleans leading by eight. Well, when KD asked out, he knew the Nets would get a King's ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen in decades. But with KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contending. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Brunson with a clean look. Hands it from downtown. And now just a five-point Pelican lead. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. McCollum kicks to Murphy. In the corner, it's Ingram. Elbow shot. Second chance shot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Better personal five. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for New Orleans, Trey Murphy. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. He's good on the second. And here's Brunson. 19 points in the game. Pass to Robinson. Back to Brunson. It's Hart on the wing. And it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. And of the last, it's five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here is Daniels. Loads it up for Williamson. Stolen by Robinson. And now the Knicks on the break. Hart, wide open. He fires. Goes back up. And it's Durant playing it in. KD's got eight points. That's Kevin Durant, his height, his reach, and his activity on the offensive window. That's easy money for him. McCollum against Hart. Williamson looking it over. Here's Daniels. The Knicks pull it in. Here's Quickly. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. New Orleans in the lead. Ingram right side. And the shot is good. 11 points in the game. And this is Ingram's bread and butter. A terrific mid-range shooter who looks to score from there often. Brunson the pass to Robinson. Now here's Brunson. They swipe it. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And New York will come the other way. Outside Durant. Let's go. And again, it's the Knicks missing. New Orleans leading by four. Out to Ingram. The three. That fellow. A 
McCollum's got six assists now in the game. New York takes timeout. C.J. McCollum really making a difference here. This is a timely timeout because this guy is hurting them. They've got to figure it out. Both teams making some changes here. Knicks trail by seven. Pass to quickly. Back to none. Here's Hartenstein. Quickly the pass to Brissett. Bamba with the block. Here's Alvarado, defended by Nunn. Kicks it to Reed. Daniel from outside. Yeah.
rebounded by Hartenstein. The Knicks have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. And there it is for him. Emmanuel. Quickly's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Leading by five. Here's Alvarado. Passes it to Bamba. Three-pointer. Hits it from three-point range. Bamba's got 16. Wow, the kind of touch Mo Bamba has at seven feet to make the three ball really, really big time. Bamba against Brunson. That one a little long. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Back to Bamba. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, let's remember, Mo Bamba is seven feet tall. He is a challenge for the defense to get a good contest. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. At the line for two. And that one falls for Bamba. Bradley Beals checked in for Jalen Brunson. And Bamba drops him both. Here's Beal. He's got 17. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's Alvarado. Bamba with it. There's the pass to Alvarado. Back to Bamba. New Orleans moving the ball around. Clock at four to the paint. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got his fourth assist in this one. I'll tell you, the next step for Mo Bamba will be more muscle, but he finishes through contact right there. Now, here's quickly. Inside, Reed with the steal. In the corner, it's Ingram. Let's it go from deep, and another three for New Orleans. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond his second three of the half right there. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's none. Now Beal. And they get it. And he sinks the layup. Beal's got 19 points. Well, you see how crafty Bradley Beal is. The athleticism helps in the paint. That's Two nicely minutes. done. Two minutes. Alvarado passes to Bamba. This is to Ingram. A minute 50 left here in the third quarter. Shot clock at six. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Bradley Beal picks one up. Oh, a wily move by Ingram, able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws, good for Ingram. And as a team, they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line. They've gotten better as the game has gone along, which is exactly what you want to see. Here's Hartenstein, rebounded by New Orleans. Bomber's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Alvarado. Bomba against quickly. 
Nice shot there by Bamba. Bamba's got nine points now in the quarter. You're starting to see the potential for Mo Bamba. This guy is capable of being a high-level scorer. This is a two for set. Now here's Beal. He's covered by Daniels. Right block shot. Here's Hartenstein. Covered by Bamba. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And you can see what he wanted to do there, but that was a tough giveaway. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Pelicans leading by 17. The pass to Bamba. Here's Alvarado. Defended by nine. Bamba. That one wide left. New York has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's none. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. He'll sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. Shoot two. First one falls. And so none nails both of them. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 19 to 6 run. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Reed. Here's Ingram. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Ingram's got 12 points in just the second half. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Now, here's Valanciunas. At the clock, running down, sends it home! What a shot! You want drama? We've got drama. That's the way to end the court. That is a way to fire him up, fire up the team. What a tremendous play. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. The Pelicans on top, running away with it. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Now let's hear what Coach Tom Thibodeau was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Defensively, it's too easy down there. Too easy. Keep the ball in front. Silent shots. Long rebound. Gotta get to the elbow. Defense is so important to him, and he's not seeing it from his squad right now. Lackluster. And you know, Kevin, that's not gonna sit well with Coach Tiff. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Up front, it's Williamson at the four, and Dallin Junis at the five. CJ McCollum out there with Ingram, and it's Murphy in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Ingram. And here is Williamson. A three from McCollum. And it's KD with the rebound. KD's got rebound number eight now on the night. Part, that's good. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Ingram passes to McCollum. 
Robinson against Valanciunas. Ingram left side. Score of the basket is eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. Using his strength to absorb the contact and his length to convert the basket. Ingram sure plays with some toughness. Robinson kicks to KD. Hard against Murphy. Here's Hart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First team foul. Shooting for New York. Josh Park at the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They led the game at one point by 20. KD against Williamson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Kevin Durant. An absolute beast in close. Once Williamson has this kind of positioning, you pretty much have to foul. Taking two shots. That free throw good from Williamson. Both free throws, good for Williamson. And making the most of their opportunities at the line here in the second half. Down low, here's Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. Colin passes to Valanciunas. It's McCollum on the wing, defended by Hart. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that ball. Yes, that goes in. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. McCollum gets to Valanciunas. McCollum against Hart. Pass to Murphy. It's up a three. It's rebounded by New York. Hart's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Now here's Beal. Hart with it. To the inside. And finished off by Robinson. That gives him a double-double in this one. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Well, as a roller, Mitchell Robinson has a chance to be a problem for defenses. Shows it right there. Alan Junis finds Ingram. Back to Alan Junis. And no good. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Now Brunson. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And that one drops for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Colin passes to Valanciunas. There's 
the dish to Ingram. Back to Alan Junis. Out to Ingram. Can they get it? Pelicans keep it alive. Hard against McCollum. Back to Alan Junis. Robinson with the block. Well, no easy buckets with Mitchell Robinson in the vicinity. Sends that back with authority. Moving it around. Eight of their last Nine ten wins. coming off assists. First personal foul. Doris, let me ask you this. Is Kevin Durant the greatest scoring forward ever? I think he is Kevin, but I also think that limits his greatness because when Kevin Durant is done and you consider the combination of his handle, his shooting, and the size, we've never seen that combination to this level. He will go down as one of the greatest ever regardless of attribute you're trying to assign to him. Kevin Durant is pretty much the same as giving up a bucket because this guy has been so consistently good from the free throw line over the course of his brilliant career. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. David Aldridge. The guys, I was able to catch the message Willie Green gave to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Well, Jada, now here's Valanciunas. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. New York moving it around. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. New Orleans leading by seven. McCollum outside. Loads it up for Williamson. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. And yet, he, he's 280 pounds. Boy, we've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. Two points. That one goes. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. McCollum this is to Williamson. Ball stolen. It's Beal on the wing. Shoots over Ingram. Durant kicks to Hart. And to get open is Robinson. Yep, it goes in. The Pelican lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Hart. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Now here's Williamson. Pass to Ingram. Lock at six. A three. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to McCollum. Ingram passes to Williamson. Tries again. Robinson pulls it in. Knicks trail by five. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. 
Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Hard against McCollum. Ingram outside. Over Beal. Here's Valanciunas. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Murphy. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got his fourth assist in this one. Had to alter his release at the last possible moment and somehow still gets it to go. Now here's Beal. Passes it to Brunson. A three ball. Rebounded by Alan Junis. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll be. Oh, you got to be kidding. What a leap by Williamson. Fearlessly rising up and slamming it down. It's Beal on the wing. Hart the pass to Katie. On the high post. And there's another one for the Knicks. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. Ingram outside. And the pass to Valanciunas. Stolen by Robinson. And even three on three break. Here's Brunson. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And now, just a three-point New Orleans lead. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for New timeout, Orleans. Timeout. They led the game at one point by 20. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. present the New Balance player of the game, Mohamed Bamba. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little, a bunch of hard work and a whole lot of talent. And the Pelicans making a change here. Reeves checked in. Stolen by Brunson. Here's Hart. No good. That would have tied it. Pelicans leading by three. Now here's McCollum. To the middle. Here's Reed. Kicks it out to McCollum. And the clock. Shoots over Beal. McCollum, no good. Knicks trail by three. Out left of the wing to tie it up. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Brunson's got 28. What a huge boost he's giving them. Here, four or five in this fourth quarter has come up big. McCollum against Hart. McCollum passes to Reed. McCollum outside. Ingram on top. Shoots over Beal. And it's Ingram missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And covering lots of airspace. Zion. Wow, oh, oh, hammering it in. Some young players tend to defer in big moments. Not Zion. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Outside Robinson. It's too hard to take the lead. Pelicans with the rebound. And here's Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Passes it to 
McCollum. A high post shot. That one, no good. So New York will take it the other way. Now the pass to Brunson. He dishes it to Beal. That falls. Nice beat that time from Brunson. 22 points for him. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. McCollum kicks to Williamson. Pass to Murphy. Back to Williamson. And he slams it down right on top of Kevin Durant. And this is how dominant Williamson can be. Well, once he finds his rhythm, he's borderline unguardable. Now here's Durant. Hit the floater. Another shot. Can't hit that one. Some solid defense from Reed. McCollum against Brunson. McCollum outside. Over Brunson. McCollum no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing for him. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Durant, that's good. And this is what makes KD special, the willingness to absorb the responsibility of the big-time shot. It's Reed high post. Out to Ingram. 46 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Robinson with the block. They recover it. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. They grab their own miss. Passes to Murphy. Off target from outside. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Ingram outside. He kicks to Murphy. Oh, that's but no good. Some close game sees New York take this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out and played hard. Uh, guys played together. And this was all that I expected, man. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.